all the different esoteric groups, they just create and they allow that experience to be uh, interacted with. And whatever the beholder sees is what it is to them. And with the sacred school, I mean, there's a lot of cryptic things, a lot of different kinds of whatever you want to call it. I, I like to call it, um, I like to call it like will magic, basically. These guys use these different kinds of energies and do these different kinds of things. But they, they develop a new language through cryptic like symbolism and writings and they just captivate people. And then it's like, what is this? And people are like, oh, well, this is scary, or this is bad, this is the end of the world. This is a consciousness, there is no real end of the world, it's just, you're here, you're fucking here, enjoy it, love it, you know what I mean? It's like a renaissance of energy, and that energy, it just, even a word, and it things like that, has become so outdated, even though it's so present all the time, but people don't talk about it anymore, right. because it's not part of our, like, cultural awareness, so it's become this, like, support. Right, right, right. The only thing... Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like tapping into all of our ancient knowledge, which used to really And it's like these little sponja that are like, oh, like I'm tapping into it because I understand. Yeah, I It's really just understanding universal energy and whatever... Absolutely. It's all about... It's all. The whole thing is that there's something that's called the Philosopher's Stone, and it's it's really just an elusive... Um, it's basically just an elusive thing. The whole thing is that everyone has their own purpose and everyone's got their philosophy stone. Everyone finds the time in their lives and expresses themselves the way they really are. We get bullied into things. We get, we get grouped into things. We get, and it's, it's because... Oh, yeah. But because it's a fucking free-for-all. It's chaos. And like, the chaos energy that's in this world can be channeled into good energy and the love energy and you can bring it and present it and make good things happen. But the chaos energy is just raw and it just is what it is. And it's the same thing as the esoteric schools or whatever, the sacred schools. It's this thing that you take from. You take what you want from and you go and you go with that. Like we've been making these documentaries. I've been trying to make it because I'm so I guess you would, I guess no better word but absent minded. Um I don't really know how to. I live in a way that lighters don't work for me. Who's a Gemini? That's interesting. Are you a Gemini? Sushi, but that's really? why it was funny. I was like, yeah. this is yours. I've been running into a lot of good Geminis. I'm a Libra, so it's like Gemini's. I'm a Libra. Yeah, we like a lot. When's your birthday? 15th. I'm the 19th. We leave. Wait, Libras are doing. Libras, well, that's why we have a really, really, really good, really good. Yeah. good. Yeah. For sure. Um, yeah. I'm, I'm kind of like on the cusp. Yeah. So what are you turning into, Scorpio or? Yeah. But I had a lot of. No, not no, not yet. No, I was gonna bring the oud, but the oud was like, I don't want to go out with you tonight. <laughs> I was like, all right. That's my weird, you know, wooden girlfriend. You know. This is just the ukulele. in the way that he opened this channel and he, he utilized How many people were drawn to him, right? uh, he utilized the symbol the symbol that he utilized is the Buddhist symbol and that symbol is a super fucking powerful evoking symbol and he used that in such a wrong way thank you Neil he used that in such a wrongful way that I mean, besides all that, you just never take a symbol and then say, okay, now I'm doing this with Because he was an artist, a graphic designer. <laughs> 